Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gabor Pertik, and I work alongside Pierce and uh, the programming department here at TIFF. And it is with great pleasure that I'm here to uh, moderate a bit of a Q&A uh, with you all tonight. Uh, this is a bit of a bigger space, so I just want to say, uh, raise your hands up nice and high, and we'll try to get to as many of you as possible. But once again, please, just a hand for Catherine Frey. My first audience, first time. So I stay in the. And so, Catherine, perhaps we'll open it up um, by saying, of course, uh, in your big body of work, this is absolutely one of your most uh, personal works. And if you could just uh, talk to you about the process of deciding that this was going to be your next project. So it's not my uh, no sexist comedy. It's the same. She's a movie maker. Tapage Nocturne is the same, she's a movie maker. That here it's uh, uh, about a new item, new item, and uh, of course, uh, I like it, new item, myself. So people uh, know perhaps uh, much, but in the same time, this is the idea. Body can uh, think that it's not, not me. I mean, like that in all my movies, it's me. <coughs> and if you could actually. Uh, and if you could maybe speak to um, the, the casting process in terms of finding your cast to, to portray this film. <laughs> It's a bit of water. It's a bit of water. Sure. For Isabelle, in France, I think she, she, she's not an intellectual actress or a cerebral, cerebral one. But at the same time, yes. Even if she plays, if she with her, her emotion, she is very, very cerebral, like me. Elle est très, elle a un caractère très dur quand elle il s'agit du travail. She's very hard on herself when it comes to work. And uh, in the same time, in private life, because I know her, she is like a little girl. She's very, she, uh, elle est très enfantine, elle rit tout le temps. She sounds a bit like a child. She giggles all the time. <laughs> and me, I am like that. <laughs> oh, yes. And so, uh, while we're here, ladies and gentlemen, we will also, of course, open it up to the floor. And if you do have any questions, just feel, feel free. I mean, we're so delighted that we have this film here. I don't feel anything in the So, if I forget... <laughs> So to, to the floor, yeah, there's a question in the middle. Following what you just finished, the sexist comedy a moment ago, just filled my love and my students love it. And I'm, I'm curious how the, the process of working with Anne Papio and Isabel Fair playing such... Oh, Anne, it's uh, more like a sculptor. You know, more... Uh, uh, I have to... Uh, Director, uh, more physically, more like than uh, Torero. But uh, Isabel is uh, very, very different. She, she, because she is uh, very intellectual, 
and also as a, I cannot direct her for the, to be myself. She, she have in the same time to be mood and then herself, actress, playing a personage of fiction, but the filmmaker was here. So I uh, don't completely di direct her. Direct is not uh, say you do, do that, you do that, you do that. You play like that. It's all, it's a sort of uh, fascination. The most difficult to enter the movie after the film is the master of the things. She began to be a mode and after she's obliged to be mode. It's like that. Uh, yeah, just right there. Uh, how, hello. how did you come up with the cool shen? It's ah. the first role, isn't it? Because I hate the act, professional actor, you know. Even if I love very much and admire Isabelle, one actress professional, it's enough. <laughs> so I did. Uh, I want to have uh, somebody who. qui m'appartient. Who belongs to me. Yes. An actor that I invent, who was never an actor bef before. And in the same time, I uh, thought that I have, uh, I need a body of rapper who takes the place with uh, his body uh, when he, he go uh, like that. Uh, yes, and uh, a rapper have the sense of uh, the espace to occupy it and to breathe the public, the audience. He's very charismatic, even if he's not beautiful. And uh, first I make uh, some uh, tests with him, and uh, I uh, thought first that, that uh, yes, I have a good, I, I have a good idea, it, it, it's really him, my, uh, and after I look and I look, I said to him that I want to engage him. And I look and I look uh, at the test. And uh, I realized that, uh, in fact, he, he has the, this uh, body and this uh, sort of uh, physical and sexual presence of my uh, character. But he cannot uh, uh, play more than uh, une phrase. One sentence. Or two, and after, uh, uh, evidently, I have to, uh, to uh, shoot uh, on Isabelle. Or me, my uh, manner of uh, shooting is uh, very, very, very often long, long. Uh, a long plan sequence. A long shot. Yes. So I realize that I cannot. And even if I said to him, and, uh, and at his agent, that uh, yes, I want to make the movie with him, I call again, and I say, I have a doubt. And I, I said to Kulchen, you have to go, I want to show you your test, because you cannot, it, it's a star of the rap in France. He is it's the first rapper of the group Nick Tamer, which is a very, very great first, first group of rap in France. France, Nick Tamer is a fuck armor, is a, like a fuck your mother. <laughs> this, this is a, 
un very violent uh, rapper, yes, and uh, bon, completely uh, idol of the suburb, and me, an intellectual. So we have uh, from two worlds very, very, very different. Like my uh, character, Vilco uh, and uh, Maude, but I, it's strange to say to, to uh, uh, an uh, perhaps actor that first I say yes, and now I have a doubt, and I think that, and I, that it's not good uh, for him and not for me if after. Uh, we we were uh, ridiculous. So I give him my, like a bottle uh, in the sea, a long, 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 very bourgeois text, very rare, which is uh, the long scene of uh, seduction of fat girl. And then he have no repair for the character. He no, so he have he have to play. But I do not. Uh, but in fact, that he can. But he come in my house. I make a test again with my assistant, and uh, he was perfect. He, he speak. He don't play. He speak. And uh, we do again and again and perfect always. No uh, repetition will kill uh, the the life. Which just really a great actor. And you, when you, you make a test like that, it's a very strange because you know, you are so épuisé après, exhausted after, exalté. And exalted at the same time. And this time I know that he is, he is, he is very, very intelligent, in fact. Perhaps he doesn't look like but he is a uh, <laughs> hundred and forty uh, uh, intellectual question, or perhaps more. It's incredible. So it was a uh, Pleasure to work with him, and very, very easy, in fact. So I'll open up probably for one or two more questions. Uh, if, if, if you do feel that you have certain questions, feel free to ask. And uh, in 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 looking at the film once again, that we have uh, we have it here. I just was curious about your experience in terms of. How the, the final moment to echo the idea of it was me, but it wasn't me. Now that the <laughs> even now yeah and and yes, it's not me. And and now, so what, what's your experience now that the film is done and watching it again? It's always strange, but it's always strange to when I look uh, at all my movie because it's very very intim to make a movie. In reality, I am in all my movies. Sometimes I can uh, be the man in Anatomy of Hell. I am the character of Rocco Sifredi. Not her, but it's me. So when you are uh, sitting uh, in the middle of an audience, you sit. I ask, but how, how I can do uh, something like that? But it's normal, I think, that uh, artists uh, always uh, give uh, part of flesh. It's a, it's a price. So, no, I think it's more complicated with my, for my relation with my family, with me, with you. It's the same thing than usually. It's the same. Well, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we do have to wrap up. But once again, just a hand for Catherine. Yeah.
so much. <laughs>